In this video we're going to have a look at some basic uh, web space functions and how to use its um, main features such as um, uh, messages, document upload, uh, RFIs and other contracts. Uh, first of all um, you, you will receive the uh, um, welcome email uh, into your Outlook or other email system um, with uh, invitation. That invitation will contain the website address so that's the link, uh, your username and password. All you have to do is to click on the link and it'll bring you to the website. Now you have to put your login name into username and password into the password field. Uh, you can tick um, login automatically tick box and then click login. So the very first screen you'll see is the messages. So it's messages inbox. Um, in the inbox you will see all the uh, notifications um, that have been sent to you. If you want to send a message there is a button called new message on the top right and just click new message and you will see the pop-up screen. But before you can do um, anything to the project you have to log on to the project. To do that uh, we usually click uh, project logon button which is on the top left of the screen click project logon and then select from the active project the one that you want to use say in this case test project one now the screen shows us test project one okay and now we see all the messages related to this particular project to send a message we click new message button and then select who we want to communicate to. Clicking on two will expand another screen with all the people related to this particular project. Say so in this case I'll select website administrator. I can CC other people, close then type in the subject, the message, and also I can attach uh, document if required. Uh, I can also select uh, due date. And then we click the send button. Message has been sent. And we receive it uh, into the inbox. Um, once we replied to that web note, send, it'll go from the inbox into the filing section. So in the messaging section there are uh, two fields that you want to have a look at is uh, inbox and filing. So the inbox contains all the new messages if they're flashing, that means you haven't read them yet. Filing contains all the messages that you have read or replied to. You can file messages uh, manually by clicking File button. File message and it goes from the inbox into the filing. Uh, WebSpace threads all the messages the same way, say, Gmail does. <clears throat> so if you click on the subject which is underlined you will see the whole thread of the conversation and what you can do with it uh, you can reply uh, forward or just file it in this case it's an RFI we'll have a look at it later okay the next section is documents uh, documents, it's where we um, upload and download our drawings and other documents. We can select the directory and then we can select the folder. To open the folder we click on the plus sign. Clicking on a plus sign expands that particular folder and we'll see all the uh, drawings or documents 
uh, belonging to this folder. <coughs> uh, if we want just to have a look at the drawing, we click on the PDF icon, if it's a PDF file, and uh, depending on our browser settings, it will download it first or will upload, um, open it straight away. So it opens up a PDF. If we want to download multiple drawings, we can click on um, View or Download, depending where it was uploaded to, and then hit Mail Selection button. Mail Selection will send all these drawings to your email address as attachments. Okay. Now, to upload documents, we have to click Add New or Revise button. For example, let's just select Directory 2, Expand Folder 1, Add New or Revise, because currently there are no documents in Folder 1. The next step is to select people that we want to notify. We're just clicking on them on the uh, left hand side and they appear on the right hand side. Then we type the message. And the next thing to do is uh, we can drag and drop files from our computer straight onto the upload area. For example, we have a number of documents. What we do is we just select them all, drag, and drop somewhere in this area. Just release the left mouse button. And what the system does is it starts uploading uh, all these drawings on the background. Say, if it's a single PDF file, it will upload it into the view file section. If it's um, a PDF and DWG file, it will upload PDF into view section and DWG into download section. So in the end, we have a document with one title containing two documents, PDF and DWG. Uh, the system will automatically pick up the titles from the file names. So you don't have to type in um, file name uh, for every document. Also, if it's a first upload, uh, the system will upload it with the revision A. Or you can change it, say, to if it's the next uh, revision, it can be revision B. If you want to edit uh, the title, you can also do that. Okay, if you want to delete a pre uploaded uh, file, you just click on the mm, X button. Or you can delete the whole row. Okay, and the next thing to do is hit upload. Upload complete, and now we see that. All our documents have been uploaded into folder 1, PDF, PDF, and PDF and DWG. So now uh, whoever views it um, uh, can open either PDF or download as DWG. So here we have our titles, and this is a revision column. Also we can see who uploaded it and when. The next thing to uh, review is how we revise these documents. Say we have um, revision 2 or revision B of drawing 2 or 3, we just hit add new or revise, select people who want to notify, And then, say we have a next revision of our document. Mm, 
what we can do is we click button change to revision and now we can select from the drop down menu we can select which document we want to revise so in this case uh, we select in drawing 2 with the revision A and we put the revision B uh, also we can select the status whether it's for approval, information, for construction um, all the statuses can be uh, customizable so we can add more and if required we can choose another file say we browse manually if we want to now we have two drawings under one title drawing 2 as a revision B and then we hit upload okay and now we can see that um, we just uploaded drawing 2 with the revision B and there are our two documents PDF and DWG uh, if we want to track the revisions we click on the revision column and we can see the whole history um, of all the revisions so we can always go back but the web space shows the latest revision uh, when you go into document section so once the document has been uploaded uh, people that we chose to notify in the notify list will receive an email saying that um, uh, a document has been uploaded to the particular directory or folder uh, the next section we want to have a look at is the contract so contracts are um, like standard messages uh, but in um, more unifying, unified form so the uh, contracts can be um, request for information design change request variations or ex extension of time request for information um, usually to initiate a new request for information we click the new RFI button and uh, <clears throat> like with the normal web notes we select a person who you want to send this um, request to then a subject the actual message we can select action by date and then send and that person receives the new RFI and uh, what we can do with this RFI is we can send on to send on to means reply or forward or we can add an answer or accept as answer also um, both parties can comment on this particular RFI so we can um, add a just a file note um, VPR and variations so VPR is a variation price request when we click the new VPR we can select a person VPR2 and then we can set I, the actual variation in dollar value and then we can click send button and say project manager receives that variation price request opens it up say add an answer and say approves 50 out of those requested 100 And uh, what what the project manager can do with that is uh, either say uh, uh, VPR is closed or a variation will be issued related to this VPR. So we click send, and now we have a VO variation. 
and we can send it to the person who sent us this message originally. And this view is now closed. Send. And that's it. So now, if we go to the variation section, we'll see that particular variation. Extension of time and delay notice. This is where we uh, say contractor request uh, delay in. Uh, hours or days say so can be two days and now extension of time will be issued relating to this delay notice say project manager will issue And delay and extension of time is now closed. Okay, statement section shows the summary of all time and cost uh, that has been submitted for a determination or adjusted contract figures. Say um, we submitted, or say contractor submitted a hundred uh, dollars for a determination, and uh, the project manager. Um, approved say 50. The same for um, time extensions. We can always go back and see what particular variation or extension of time was requested. Um, another good feature we want to have a look is um, if we go to project and users this is where we can see um, other people contacts. Um, so we can expand the company name clicking on a plus sign and this is where we see the uh, phone numbers, email addresses and actual addresses. Also we can use the search button. Search is a very convenient tool where we can sort um, messages, document uploads, um, contracts by filtering them uh, in the way that we chose to. So if we click a show button, um, a few drop down menus appear and we can search by messages, RFIs, documents or everything. So we can search between the dates or from the person it was sent to or to. Say if I type in test and then hit search the system will find everything with the word test and because everything is colored on the web space um, the yellow means um, messages in the inbox orange means documents everything related to the document section and green everything that relates to the contract section if you want to find more information, uh, you can click Help button and um, find the answer to the question that you're looking for. Say how to upload a document. We click on Uploading a document and we read step-by-step -step instruction how to do that.